talking now. Okay, we have an emergency here. Someone just got shot. There's a cop shot over here on Walgreens. That was the radio call more than a year ago that first alerted police one of their own was down in the line of duty. When I pulled up in my car and I got out, the guy ran at me. And within 30 seconds, uh, within the first 30, 30 seconds, I pushed him on the side of my car. I was trying to hold him to get a hold of my radio. Uh, there's another officer is en route. Um, and apparently he spun around and he hit me in my head and knocked me out. At that point, he reached down and grabbed my gun, and he started shooting. When I got into the hospital, they were just trying to keep my, me alive, and they were trying to give me anything and everything I could use, and blood was, was one part of it. I don't think there's just one hero that saved my life. There's a lot of different parts of it, and if one of those parts were missing, I probably wouldn't make it. So everybody, it, it, you know, and I'm talking about the, 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 the people that volunteered to give blood. I'm talking even, even the, the people in the hospital that are helping the doctors so the doctors can do their job. It's all important. Uh, I get on back as a police officer and they didn't expect this. First off, they didn't expect that I was going to make it. They thought that when I wake up, I would have some major problems. I probably wouldn't be able to walk. I'd, I'd be in a wheelchair, uh, I'd have to be in some kind of a nursing home for the rest of my life, this kind of a thing. Yet when I woke up, it's like, no, I'm still here. You don't know when the crisis is going to come. And you don't have time when somebody is shot. You don't have a couple hours for you to go over and give blood, and then it has to be checked and handled and all this other stuff before you can use it. They need it immediately. And, and quite often you don't even know it when you wake up the next morning and you grab the newspaper and you say, hey, they've had a big accident at 1 o'clock this morning. If nobody else gave blood, it's too late. You need to do it ahead of time. You, you hear about things on the news where there's been a bit bad accident. Uh, quite often it'll be that the person's on critical and you don't know whether or not the person's going to make it or not. If you, if you give blood, you may have saved that person's life. And you can always think about that. You don't know it's yours, but every time you see it, it's like somebody saved that person, and maybe it was me.